In this video, we're going to look at Alabama in the National Championship game, running RPOs. I think they ran more RPOs in this game than they might have in any game all year. And we'll take a look at it. Uh, some of them that were gives, some of them that were throws. Uh, but the first one that we're going to look at is the, the Alabama running their bang eights or glances. And right here, this is actually the first offensive play of the game for Alabama. And they're running pin and pull that direction to the tight end. They actually uh, walk a linebacker down and shoot him, which is obviously not what you really want to do against pin and pull. They get a little lucky right here on that that center. Who that's basically what was going to have anyway. He's going to kick right there with that guard, and that center was going to pull right there for him fitting over the top. Uh, he ended up taking him, uh, but shooting the gap made that kind of uncomfortable. And looking at this look from Ohio State, obviously when you're running this bang eight, you got to win against man coverage and you're looking for the rotation of safety. If they stay too high, obviously hand the ball off, you're going to be good in the box. But also, you got to read this backer. If he backs up and gets into that window, whether they roll safeties, whatever they do is also going to be no good. So right here, I would say, whenever we talk with our quarters, a lot of times we say, hey, just read the space right here. Is anybody working to that space, whether it's a safety rolling over the top, whether it's that backer going to it, if we can take that corner and one other defender, whether it's a safety, whether it's a linebacker, whatever, we won't hand that ball off because we, we'll be plus right there or we'll have good numbers to run the ball. We'll take a look at what takes place. Right here, obviously, you got the backer blitzing. Looks like this guy, maybe he's blitzing right there as well. Uh, but they're rolling right there to that blitz to replace these linebackers that are, that are blitzing. And this linebacker as well slides that direction with that run look. I'm assuming they're reading that safety who's rolling away and he sees that there's going to be some space there. So quick pull, good job right left in the ground. A little high on the throw. We want to put that thing on his face mask or lower uh, when he's breaking to the middle of the field, making an easy completion for him. And linebacker knocks that away uh, there early in the game. They also they obviously come back to this play a few times throughout the night for some big plays. This look right here, a pretty good indication Playing some kind of uh, one high look, whether it's man, whether it's zone. This look is one of the reasons that we obviously want to talk about, hey, we're reading space when we call our RPOs. Because on this one, they're running outside zone away from the bang eight. And this backer actually backs up and is in the window. Now, if you're just saying, hey, if we get a one high look or that safety rolls, we're going to throw that bang eight. He's going to step back into it and make that those windows really tight, which right there, could have held on to it, let him keep working across the field, but we want with RPO and the protection and all that stuff, a lot of times you don't have that long to work. So we really like to read space. If somebody's dropping there, whether it's a safety, whatever, to make it two on one, that's all we that's all we need to get even in the box. And they hand the ball off right there. And obviously, uh, not the biggest play, but right there you can see the read that Mac Jones was looking at. Eyes go right there to that backer, knowing that that safety can't help. And he's backing up, getting into that window, so I hand that ball off. See what one of the best running backs in the nation can do right there for you. Here's a look of running outside zone that direction, bringing the fullback back to the backside to block the backside DM. You got a bang eight right here against man coverage that's pressed. You gotta win that. Uh, and the quarterback is reading this linebacker right here. He steps up into the box. He actually goes a little bit wide right here. He steps up and he's going right there, seeing that fullback coming across. When he's up to the line of scrimmage, you know we're going to pull that and you're going to throw that. You've got to try to restack and lean into that defender. Defender does a pretty good job of flattening that route out. Mac Jones does a good job right here, though, putting the ball on his body so he can protect that from the defender. And obviously, uh, right here, when, when he releases, you want to probably get a little bit more vertical into that to keep a little more space and then stick that to hopefully create space. But good coverage there from the DB. Good throwing catch. This is actually uh, the play right here where they get called for legal man downfield. And it's this left tackle who ends up getting right there at about four yards. And when that ball is let go, so he's a little bit deep right there. So good call there by the official, good catch. Uh, and, and throw there by quarterback and receiver, which beat really good coverage. This is the same formation that earlier Alabama got into and they ran outside zone that direction. And his backer backed up into that bang eight window. Again, with zone coverage right here, they had a soft corner when they were in twins with their fullback over to that side. But right here, they end up running counter back at him, trying to get this guy to fly up into the box just like he did on the last play. And as you play it, you can see coming to kick, coming to lead up on that backer. He's got to step up. There's nobody else to force that. So when he steps up, Mac Jones pulls it. And with that off zone coverage, 
They know that it's going to be a lot of space. And obviously, DB has a great break. I think this uh, number seven is pretty good right there. Good throw and catch right there. Ball's low. If you're going to miss, you want to miss these low on these in-breaking routes so that if it's a drop or not a completion for whatever reason, it's going to get knocked down to the ground as opposed to knocked up. And so right there, going to the inside, good throw and catch right there for an easy gain. You can see a little difference just as far as the run, the run call right there. Counter instead of outside zone at the guy is the reason why. Now he's stepping up in the box and they're able to get a completion right in behind him. This look right here, I'm not real sure that it's an RPO. I think it may just be kind of an action where they know they want to fake that run. And it's a one high look with a lot of space right there for that bang eight to win. Obviously, you got to beat that single high safety right there. This side runs a bang eight, but with that backer right there and, and the condensing of the field on that side, there's not much space. This is obviously where you want to go. So it gets a little fake right there, and they throw that bang eight just before the safety gets there. So not really sure if this is RPO or not. Uh, I know the line's working and getting downfield right there, but this is a pre-snap read from Mac Jones knowing that that's where he wanted to go. Uh, put that thing on him try to protect him from that safety for, for completion for first down there in the red zone. This is the second play offensively for Alabama, and we've got an entire video breaking this one down, but this is a real simple pre-snap bunch bubble RPO right here where they're just looking for numbers. They're actually running pin and pull that direction. For some reason, I guess they thought pin and pull was gonna be really big. They called on the first two plays. Didn't call just a ton after that, and obviously they did a couple times, had some success with it, but uh, right here they run the bubble at a bunch and they bubble, obviously, the outside guy. It's Devontae Smith right here. And these guys are blocking one and two, so blocking the corner, blocking the outside backer. He's going to block that outside backer. He's going to get out there for that corner. And what's really impressive right here is just how well they work the outside shoulder there for the receivers. Quarterback's read, he's trying to figure out if that guy's going to be able to, if this backer's going to be able to get out there, or if this safety is tight enough to make this where the numbers aren't right. So... With this safety that deep, he's about nine yards. His backer's never going to get there on that bubble. So all he's really concerned about is that safety. And if he snaps it with him at nine, throw that thing, you can see how quickly he's getting out. But they do a great job of getting flat, trying to beat him to the spot. And then this receiver, again, he's going behind the line of scrimmage to help his guy out up to that corner and still working his outside shoulder. So good job right there. Going to get a little bump up to this corner if this corner comes up and sets the edge and keeps his outside on free it's going to force him to work back in and this safety does a good job he feels the alley like he's supposed to inside out uh, but this corner again great job right there by the inside by the fullback giving a little nudge and he's working up to that outside shoulder and again amazing job right there those guys working those outside shoulders working their feet and then stretching that to the sideline if he would have been able to set the edge that would have been a negative play right there with that safety feeling inside out. Uh, he would have tackled him for a, y a yard loss or maybe two. And uh, instead, they got the edge, and right there, they get an explosive play, kind of setting the tone there for the rest of the game. Alabama here has their two receivers stacked, and they're bubbling right there. Run their zone lead to the left. Ohio State's in, in, ending up bringing a little bit of pressure here with the second and one, trying to make something happen. And right here, Mac Jones, this is obviously a pre snap read. I think he's thrown that thing, whether he's out in coverage or not. Because the safety is so deep, the south side backer is so tight, especially two on one right there. If those guys are sprinting to the sideline and do a great job blocking just like they always do, uh, working that outside shoulder, stretching that, those guys are not going to keep them from getting two or three yards. And right here you can see, here's that outside backer. He's about to release to, to get to that outside shoulder. Mac Jones right here, he's faking the run. He's just giving a little token fake right there, showing the ball and then stepping back, right, left, throwing that thing, putting it on his face. And again, great job working right there. A lot of space right there before that safety gets there. And he's able to get vertical. Not a huge gain. You know, two or three yards right there, getting the first down. Trying to keep those guys honest where they can keep from getting these guys into the box and not let those backers pop and all that stuff to try to keep them from running their pin and pull, which obviously they thought was going to be a big play in the run game. But not only does that bubble at a two by two stack set up and keep them honest for the run game. It also sets up this play right here, which is just a simple slant by Devontae Smith. Obviously, he's acting like he's blocking these slips to that open space. You can see there's a ton of space here. From this defensive back to that linebacker, that's almost a third of the field with no secondary defender if you can beat him to the inside to get the ball. And right here, obviously faking that bubble, 
and blocking right there, showing showing that he's stuttering, trying to work that outside shoulder. That's even widening that gap with a little bit of a run action right there, trying to get him to step up as well. And when he releases the corners outside, he's trying to fight outside, trying to stop that bubble. And that's a lot of space right there. Uh, easy throw and catch, but for Alabama. And very simple concept, obviously. He's going to try to fight outside, trying to keep that contained, let that safety work inside out on that bubble. Stutters does a great job being patient, and then he works to that slant. Good timing right there uh, by Mac Jones. Just a little bit of a pump, but good timing. Putting it on his face so that he can do something with it after the catch, which obviously uh, just all those different elements they bring to the game with their RPOs, with their shots, with the run game. They just do a really good job of mixing all that in. Next couple of looks are some out routes there by Alabama where they're taking advantage of the combo coverage. They're manned up down here rolling the safety. He's playing zone up here, so they just break it to the out and fake the run right there. If he finds off corner, I'm sure that that's just one of those things that he can take. Uh, obviously, they're gonna roll to a one high look out of 21 personnel. If they stay too high, they're just gonna hand this ball off, uh, but they're getting to a one high look, so they wanna find the soft corner, take advantage of them, which they do right here. So. As this ball snapped, you can see he's zone turning. He's actually turning his butt to the sideline. So right there, a break to the sideline is going to create some space. Just this quick speed out right there at about five yards, rolls to it, and that ball's out with a lot of space there. Uh, now it's to the Heisman winner with a third of the field, one-on-one -on -one with a corner, uh, which I would say is probably a good matchup for uh, Alabama. Ends up getting close to the first down right there. Uh, but... You can just see a soft corner that's zone turning. And if you're gonna throw you know, a speed out right there, you're gonna get a completion and you're gonna get your guy in space. Make those defenders run, hopefully get into their legs, which is what Alabama did uh, late in the game for sure. Here's another good look of this out RPO. And this receiver over here is running out. That's the nearest defender that can guard the out. This is this outside backer, so they're gonna read that guy. They're actually running a wide zone with a base right there, so they should have the numbers got the fullback working there so uh, numbers are good right there if if this backer jumps out to try to guard the out uh, if not they can throw that out and it's going to be a really quick read here by Mac Jones so he catches it I don't even know if he reads it or if it's just kind of an action right there where he knows there's a lot of space so he's going to throw it uh, but he may have glanced at this linebacker and if he does anything other than just run straight to the flats trying to get underneath that that you know that out's going to be there especially with this zone look um, probably have a little bit of tail when it's zone when it's man obviously when it's man a lot of times they're down pressed turns his butt to the sideline so he can break to his blind spot I'm gonna create a lot of space right there and again easy throw and catch on the first and ten uh, you know getting seven or eight yards making those guys run and staying in front of the sticks is always big uh, especially in, in games where you know you're evenly matched against a good defense 